Hi, welcome to another episode of Training for Trainers uh, from the Score for Classrooms, Volume 3 book. I am Jamie Pilant. I'm about to show you a way you can introduce uh, a new training concept that has people working in groups. You could be training managers, you could be training and development, or you could even be leading a meeting and this opener would be great. What you're gonna start with is you're gonna buy a puzzle and place it together, no more than 100 pieces, because you don't want it to be too difficult. Once you put your puzzle together, go ahead and take your box cover and photocopy it. You wanna use color, don't skimp out on this process, okay? And take that picture, cut it out, and put it in individual Ziploc bags. Okay. Depending on how many groups you're going to use, you wanna divide your puzzle up. For my purposes, I'm gonna use four different groups, so I'm going to divide my puzzle into quarter pieces. Okay, so we're not actually gonna do it, we're just gonna tear it up. So once you have your puzzle divided up, you'll pass them out at the beginning of either your training or your meeting, and you'll put a timer on for three minutes and allow your participants to work to put together their puzzle. You're not gonna tell them they only have a portion of the puzzle. They'll figure that as uh, long as they're actually doing the activity. Once they begin to figure out that, hey, we don't have the entire puzzle, what they'll have to do is they'll have to come together as an entire group and work together to complete the puzzle. You finish this up by saying that we're all different, but we all have to work together. Together, okay. And you finish this up by saying we're all different, but we have to work together to come up with our common goal. What is a common goal that we're gonna uh, work together towards accomplishing for today's training, or maybe possibly for today's meeting, if you're working with managers and directors?